Hi, I'm Dave Palmer. Thanks for joining me on this video that I call Why Every High School Student Should Study the Summa Theologia by St. Thomas Aquinas. And I really believe this. In fact, I have taught high school students the Summa Theologia for the last 10 years through Homeschool Connections. I'm going to begin my 11th year in September. There is a link below in the description box about how you can find out more about this course. This is primarily for homeschool students because the class does meet on Thursdays at 1.30, so most kids in traditional schools, be it Catholic or public schools, probably couldn't take this course, but it is offered on a recorded basis as well. I'm thoroughly convinced that high school is when a person needs to be introduced to philosophy, good Christian philosophy like St. Thomas Aquinas. I think if you get to college or adulthood, it's too late. I think junior high school is too early. High school is the prime time to learn the Summa Theologia by St. Thomas Aquinas, who, in my estimation, is the greatest philosopher of all time because he took the great philosophy of the Greeks and then the age of antiquity and the Christians like Augustine and Damascene and uh, Chrysostom, and then he put it all together in this great synthesis in the high Middle Ages, and I think it continues to be the gold standard for philosophy and theology today, okay? You also get some apologetics as well. All right, so the first thing that I teach when I start teaching high school kids the Summa is the uniqueness of the human person, okay? It is really cool to be a human being, and also how important it is for us to understand human nature, especially in light of the culture we're, li we're living in today where there is a lot of confusion about what it means to be a human being, where do we come from, where are we going, what is our purpose, that kind of thing. So I like to start off by pointing out the fact, and you can Google this, this is, uh, this is just a fact, there are estimated to be 8.7 million species of visible creatures on the earth. Okay, I say visible because I'm not counting the angels, you can't see them, you know, that there's a lot of angels as well, but we're talking about the creatures that we can see on earth. And let me just give you some examples, okay? There are 3,000 species of snakes in the world. There are 10,000 species of birds in the world, 900,000 species of insects, and 32,000 species approximately of fish, okay? So those are just some examples. 8.7 million species, okay? That's a lot of creatures out there. And what I point out to them is that only one of these 8.7 million species of visible creatures was first of all made to the image and likeness of God. Only one of them has intellect and will, and only one of them has free will. And so we are really, really unique and also complicated creatures. So here we are, and I think this picture kind of sums it up because, you know, you got the angels kind of above us, incorporeal, intellect and will, very, very intelligent. And then you have those 8.7 million <laughs> creatures here below. We have a lot in common with the angels. We have a lot in common with our dog and spiders and, you know, uh, the monkeys and, uh, you know, orangutans or what have you. Uh, but we're right in the middle. Okay, so we're in a very unique place as creatures go because we're, we have a little bit of everything. All right, we're made to the image and likeness of God. We're kind of complicated. And so if you don't understand human nature, you're bound to mess it up, okay? And that's why I think early on in a person's life, they have to learn what it means to be a human being, okay? So we know that we exist, okay? Uh, and we know that we're headed somewhere, okay? All the, the, the philosophers talk about this a lot, okay? So I think that's kind of a given. We know, you know, some somehow we appeared on this, this earth, and we seem to be going somewhere. There seems to be some end or trajectory, all right? Well, Thomas says, okay, the human person comes from God and is going back to God, okay? I think that's a, a reasonable thing to say, and that's why I like to compare it to a boomerang, okay? We, we're here, and we seem to be designed to go back to that which we came, kind of like a, like a boomerang does. I think it's a good analogy that, that kids can understand. So the Summa talks about this journey of being born and being created 
and then being drawn back to our ultimate happiness. Okay, it's a very optimistic uh, philosophy. So real quickly, I'm just going to tell you some of the highlights of the Summa Theologia. At the very beginning of the Summa, we learn about the existence of God, the famous five proofs from St. Thomas Aquinas, the existence of God. And then once you become convinced that God exists, well, what is he like? You know, what are the, the seven attributes, as I like to talk about it, including his simplicity and eternity and uh, his immutability and unity, right? Uh, um, very, very fascinating. And then we talk about his, his intellect and his will and uh, what it means for God to be a trinity of persons and have relations and notions. And uh, it's, it's, really, it's really fascinating. All right, the angels. Okay, I mentioned them before. What's the purpose of the angels? Why do they exist? How do they help us? Well, they, they do help us in, in a lot of ways. And those 8.7 million creatures, they're not just there for no reason. Every one of them is telling us something about God, okay? We find ourselves drawn to things, okay? Thomas says that the will is always drawn to the good, okay? Our sensitive appetites are always drawn to the good. This has to do with teleology, okay? Being drawn to something. We're ultimately being drawn to God, but through the created world, right? Which is really an interesting thing to think about. All right, so the human person, what makes it unique? Why is it so dignified? What does it mean to be made in the image and likeness of God? We'll talk about that. Why do we wonder? Why are we in awe of creation? What, is, what are we being pulled towards? Why do we look out at the sunset? And unlike any other creature in the world, it means something to us. It's drawing us to... Uh, to something, and Thomas would say, well, it's drawing us back to God. That's what it is. God's grace is so abundant, and God is helping us to reach our final end, but he loves us too much to force us because then we'd be robots, right? We wouldn't have free will. We have to choose to respond to God's grace through things like the theological virtues, which we assent to, the cardinal virtues, the Four kinds of law, which is a really interesting concept. The gifts of the Holy Spirit help us supernaturally to reach, to reach our final end. Now, about three quarters into the Summa, we're introduced to Jesus Christ, okay? Having studied God and his attributes in the Trinity and having studied human nature, we now are introduced to this person who has both fully God, fully man. And it's only in understanding God and understanding man that we understand Jesus Christ, okay? So you'll the, the, the teenager will have a whole new appreciation for Jesus Christ and also his blessed mother, which Thomas writes quite a bit about, his life, his death, his passion, his resurrection, what all that means, the fact that he leaves us behind himself in the blessed sacrament of the Eucharist and also his grace, which uh, principally comes through uh, the sacraments like matrimony and baptism and confirmation, right? So by this time at the end of the course, the student has learned pretty much everything about human nature, angelic nature, divine nature, Jesus Christ, the sacraments, and they're better equipped to live life fully, okay? This is, like I said, an optimistic philosophy. It's a beautiful philosophy, and ultimately it's leading them to their final end, which is union with God and through belief and love uh, of Jesus Christ and, you know, reception of the sacraments in the Eucharist. And so it's very Catholic, of course, as St. Thomas Aquinas was a Catholic priest after all. All right, so this is the end, union with God. And if I could summarize the Summa real quickly, it's that we are here below but we aspire to be there. So we have to understand what it means to be a human person here, be here below, but also that natural inclination that we have to something beyond us, that supernatural end. And it's all explained beautifully in the Summa Theologia. Okay, My class starts in September. It's for high school kids or very mature middle schoolers. If you have a homeschool student, that would benefit from this, learning this. It meets on Thursdays at 1.30 Central Time, beginning in 
mid early September but I'll, I'll provide a link down below where you can find out how to register the class does fill up last year it was totally filled up and we let a few extra kids get in at the end so if you're interested in enrolling your student do so quickly okay thanks a lot for watching God bless you